Hi everybody, this is Layla the Regulator. And today what I wanted to talk about is toxic friends. Dun 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 dun. You almost hear music when that topic happens, right? Um, a thing about getting yourself together and starting fresh and changing things is that there's a lot of things that may need to be cut out of your life. And one of them is toxic friends. Um, they can hold you back. They can give you doubts about your endeavors. They could block you from goals that you have in your life. So you really need to identify who your toxic friends are and what you should do with them. Uh, should you give them another chance? Should you keep them around? Or should you just kick them to the curb for good? Um, but how do you know if you have toxic friends, right? Well, you know, there are certain things. Um, a toxic friend is somebody that they act like they have your back, but they really don't. Um, there's actually a term called frenemy, which I think is the most ridiculous term on the planet because someone who's your enemy shouldn't be your friend at the same time. Um, you wear something nice, they criticize it. Oh, I'm just kidding. You know, that looks kind of whack. That's not one thing I would wear, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> Girl, I'm just kidding. Um... They engage in behavior that's not really helpful to you. You know, they, they drink all night, they go to clubs. These things aren't really helping you, you know, move forward. So you need, you don't want people that are going to hinder your progress. Um, I have a blog about it that details more about toxic friends, but I'm just going to break it down to you in little terms. For those who are on the go, um... A toxic friend, for example, someone who you you kind of tell them your personal business and it kind of backfires on you. Uh, they end up criticizing you for it or later on you end up finding out that they're telling everybody something that you shared with them that was really private. Um, especially a toxic friend is when they're down in their luck and you give them a helping hand and instead of them being grateful, they're taking advantage in some instances, breaking up personal relationships. It could be one with your boyfriend. It could be one with your friends. Um, you referred them to a job. They come to the job late. They made you look bad because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Um, these people are not helpful for you. These people that you have a sense that they may be jealous or they may not really be encouraging. Um, if there's something you want to do, like, uh, you know, Girl, i just been thinking, I need some changes. I want to skydive. What? Skydive? What do you want to skydive for? Like, who does that? Like, ugh, please, good luck, you're going to kill yourself. You know, stuff like that that will just make you question your thoughts and what you do. You don't need a person like that. Um, the type of friends you want are people that encourage you. Um, if you say a crazy thing like that, they're not going to condemn you for it. They're going to say, okay, well, you know Let's look, let's, let's look out about that. Let's find out what's, you know, how to get there, how to do it. Um, a person, if you're in a bad mood and you're sad, a, a toxic friends, their, their idea is just to go and get drunk and, and just go and go wild. Or if you're in a bad relationship, they're like, oh, you know, I was in a relationship like that. Give it some time, girl. You know, he's all messed up, but you know, eventually he'll, he'll do well. That's not the type of person you need. Uh, you don't need someone who's always borrowing every, borrowing everything you have and you never get it back. Like, um, boo boo, where are my, my juicy couture jeans that I had given you? Like, it's been like two weeks and, well, you know, um, I kind of messed them up, but I'll pay you back though. I'll pay you back. You know, Cause that's what I do. Um, stuff like that. Um, you need to do a friend makeover, basically. When you start this journey on making yourself over physically, mentally, spiritually, you have to clean the closet. And toxic friends are people that do that. Um, you know, you want to go exercising. They're not there. They, they Or if they go, they want to encourage you to stop because they are not really into it so they don't want you to be into it they talk about their problems all the time never really thinking about you as a person um nobody wants to be alone but the point is is that 
quality over quantity. Sometimes you just need two or three good friends as opposed to 15 bad ones. Uh, you need people that are about something that inspire you, that encourage you, that make you say, you know, this person's doing that. I want to do that. You want stuff like that that encourages you to go forward. Um, toxic friends will really fight to the death once you make changes. Any type of changes they see, they're the first one to, to speak up. Um, oh, I've never seen that style before. Why are you wearing that? Oh, hmm. interesting. Oh, you're going to that restaurant? Like, who goes there? Only, like, uppity people go there. Like, go ahead, do whatever. Um, oh, you're really dating that guy? Oh, he's kind of nerdy. Um, do you? <laughs> you know, people like that. You don't need that. Opinionated cranky, bitter, troublemaking, not really giving you the advice that you need, pointing you in all wrong directions because they're pointed in all wrong directions. And misery loves company. Misery cannot live without company. Um, so you really got to question a toxic friend. Um, there are some that you may question and say, well, she's a screw up sometimes, but you know, I just... I, I am close to her or him. What should I do? Well, with every person you deal with your life and you come at an impasse where you don't, you don't know where this relationship is really going. You want it to go a right way and it's not really going. You sit them down and you talk to them and you put it all on the table in plain English. Don't make it too long because people get distracted and then the next thing you know, you're right back to square one. Make it short and sweet. Look. I have a little problem with you it's not really working out like I have a B C D problem with you but I really value our friendship like can we get this together can we work this out somehow cuz I'm not feeling really confident about this relationship and if they listen and if they try that's good but if they go back to the same things where you, you're moving on and they're not moving on it's time to let them go and, you know, it's it's easier said than done, but you have to do it. The strongest people stand alone sometimes. So, anyway, um, meet me on Twitter uh, for some daily inspiration. Uh, please look at the old uh, sayings that I've put on Twitter for inspiration about everything. Um, check out the blog, a lot of good stuff. Uh, look at the old as well as the new. The book is coming out soon, la la la, we're going to have some fun, Um, going to really, really give you some insight on what to do about regulating the dating game. Um, anyway, I hope you're having a good day and I hope you have a better day as each day goes because you are evolving. And that's what life is about. You don't want to be the same person you were five years ago. You want to be brand new and improved. And that's what I'm here for. So subscribe, rate, see ya.